Thomas, is time real or is it just something convenient that humans made just to make sure that everything doesn't happen at once? Was it something that we invented to prevent us from going insane? I think time is real to some extent, but you should take it too real. It's real in the sense that it's a property of the universe, which comes in handy eh, to organize our lives and our discussions, to create structures and complexity and all that. It's not what I'm saying you shouldn't take it too real is that I don't think of time as an a priori thing which sort of transcends the physical universe. I view time as an emergent quality of the universe which can disappear in the Big Bang and inside black holes. What is the relationship between black holes and the Big Bang? What features do they share in common? And what new aspects of physics, like the holographic principle, might they be able to help us understand? The Big Bang is the origin of time, and black holes are the end of time. Inside black holes, time pretty much ends. So in that sense, they're sort of mirror images of one another. But I do think there are large, large differences. Inside black holes, the entropy is large, it's a generic collapsed end of star thing, whereas the early stage of the universe, the Big Bang, seems to have been very special, a very low entropy state, a remarkably special state, which we are still taking advantage of today, because 10 billion years on, we are still taking advantage of the rising entropy, and that's because the early universe had such a low entropy. So I do think there are large differences. When it comes to holography, I think both the Big Bang and black holes ultimately will have to be understood using holography. And the most natural way of doing this is to get rid of the time dimension. But how exactly this is going to work remains to be seen.